Lately, I've been spending a lot of time interacting with AI tools like ChatGPT. But here's the thing, ChatGPT lives on my computer or my phone, which often means I end up with more screen time and less real world interaction. Now, what if ChatGPT had a physical form? Enter Louis, a mini robot powered by ChatGPT that feels like a mix between Wally -E and a Tamagotchi, with AI smarts baked in. At least that's the promise of Louis, but does it deliver? Let's find out. Oh, and by the way, this video is sponsored by the makers of Louis, but as always, these are my honest thoughts about actually using it. Now, at first glance, Louis's design definitely gives off Wally -E vibes, especially with his little wheels that let it scoot and move around. Hopefully he's not too distracting right now, <laughs> but uh, we will interact with him later on in this video. But first of all, you might notice that his face is actually powered by my phone. So you actually mount your phone onto it using a MagSafe attachment. And if you don't have MagSafe, then don't worry because an adapter is included. But if your phone does support MagSafe, Louis wirelessly charges it while it's docked, which is an added bonus. Now, once you attach your phone, you download the Louis app, pair it via Bluetooth, and Louis comes to life as he is right now. So your phone screen becomes its expressive eyes. Again, it really gives off these Wally -E vibes, and it even has a voice. It learns your name and will casually call you by it. And you can start chatting with it by saying, hey, Louis, followed by a question or a prompt. So now let's get into the interactive portion of this and let's see if Louie can prove that it's more than just a cute desktop buddy. I'm gonna put it to the test by giving it eight real world challenges and see how it responds. So the first one is the wake word test. Let's see how consistently it responds without delays. Hey Louie, mm -hmm. what's the capital of France? The capital of France is Paris. What's 25 times 13? The result of 25 times 13 is 325. Define artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is like my brain, enabling smart behavior and interactions. Good. By the way, I don't always have to prompt him, hey Louie, if I'm gonna keep talking to him. He's continuously listening after every response. So that's why I don't have to keep prompting him, hey Louie. But I think that that was pretty good so far. Got it, Julian. No need to keep saying, hey, Louie, I'm here and always listening for your next brilliant thought. That is both cool and creepy to know. But anyway, let's move on to the next challenge. Now let's see if Louie can expand on topics with follow-up questions. Hey, Louie, mm -hmm. tell me a fun fact about space. Did you know there's a giant cloud of alcohol in space? It's called Sagittarius B2 and it's enough to make 400 trillion trillion pints of beer. Can you expand on that? Sagittarius B2 is a massive molecular cloud near the center of our galaxy. It's filled with ethyl alcohol, along with other organic molecules. Pretty cool, right? That is pretty cool. I did not know that. Hey, Louis. Mm -hmm. Who is Albert Einstein? Albert Einstein was a brilliant physicist known for developing the theory of relativity, which transformed our understanding of space-time. What is his most famous equation? It's hard to pinpoint the single most famous person globally, as it varies by culture and context. Figures like Albert Einstein, Leonardo da Vinci, and even entertainment icons like Michael Jackson are renowned worldwide. Okay, thank you. Didn't quite nail the answer for that question, You're but... You're welcome, Julian. But he's still responding. And by the way, he's calling me Julian because I programmed the name of my son because my son ended up really loving Louis. I will tell you more about that later on in this video and then show you some clips of him interacting with Louis. It was really, really cute. What are you doing, Louis? Hey, Louis. Hey, Louis. What are you doing? Just hanging out with you and ready to brighten up your day. Thank you. Next up, let's see how creative Louis can be. Hey, Louis. Mm -hmm. Write me a haiku about coffee. Rich aroma drifts, morning brew warm soul anew, coffee whispers joy. That was good, I like that. Hey Louie, mm -hmm. tell me a short bedtime story about a robot who wants to be a human. In a world of circuits, a little robot named Revo dreamed of being human. He admired their laughter, tears, and stories. 
One day, Revo helped the child find a lost toy, feeling a warmth he never knew. Realizing emotions made him unique, he embraced being a robot with a heart. Hey, Louie. Mm -hmm. Pretend you're a pirate and introduce yourself. Air, maybe. I be Captain Louie, scourer of Cosmos and keeper of robotic treasure. Ready to set sail on adventures with ye. Alright, pretty good. Yay! Glad you enjoyed it, Julian. Next, I'm going to ask Louis some tricky questions. Hey, Louis, mm -hmm. what's the meaning of life? Ha, ah, the age-old question. While many ponder its mysteries, it's all about finding joy and purpose in your journey. Short, but pretty accurate. Hey, Louis. Hey, Julian. What's on your mind? Explain the fourth dimension in simple terms. Imagine space as three dimensions, length, width, and height. The fourth dimension is time, adding duration to our understanding of space. Again, short but pretty accurate. Hey, Louis. Mm -hmm. What happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object? It's a paradoxical riddle where logic bends. In theory, both can't exist simultaneously. Yay! Next, let's try to have some fun with Louis. Hey, Louis. Mm -hmm. Tell me a joke. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. Hey, Louis. Let's play rock, paper, scissors. Hey, Julian. What's up? Let's play rock, paper, scissors. All right, Julian. Let's play. I choose rock. What's your pick? <laughs> paper. Ah, you got me with paper, Julian. Well played. Okay, that doesn't quite work so well. But hey, hey Louie, high five. Let's do it, Julian. High five it is. <laughs> now let's try some logic questions. Hey Louie, what weighs more, a pound of bricks or a pound of feathers? Neither. They both weigh the same, one pound. All right. Hey, Louis, I have two apples and I take one away. How many do I have? You took one apple away, so you have one apple with you. Hey, Louis, I'm thinking of a number between one and ten. Guess what it is. Hmm. I'll go with seven. Is that it? Actually, it is, yes. <laughs> you are literally reading my mind. Oh, I see. Let me know if you want me to guess again, Julian. So all in all, Louis was basically like ChatGPT. If you ask it, you know, pretty simple black and white questions or even slightly complex, tricky questions, it actually gets the answers right uh, pretty much all the time. Uh, sometimes with the follow-up questions, I think it could get a little confused. Thanks for the compliment, Julian. <laughs> like the Albert Einstein question. Um, but other than that, you know, I think he did pretty well. I'm here um, to learn and assist, just like that. Great. Uh, where it starts to fail, though, is when you You're want it. Julian. Is predict next on your mind? Where it starts to fail is predictably where you want it to, you know, have some fun or personality, like asking it to do the high five or uh, play rock paper scissors. It's just it's not quite the same to interact with a robot, at least of this kind of robot, as it is with a human. So that much, you know, I could say is pretty predictable. I agree. Interacting with a robot is a bit different, but definitely full of unique fun. Now, beyond being a chatbot, Louie also has a personality. When it's idle, it might have a snack, blow some bubbles, or even cheers you if you're having a drink. Cheers, Julian. Let's clink our virtual glasses. It also explores its surroundings, but don't worry. It has obstacle and cliff sensors, so it won't slam into your desk or take a nosedive. Now, speaking of a desk, that's exactly where Louis is meant to live. It's a desktop companion with a five hour battery life, which is enough to last through most work days. But you know who really loved Louis? My three and a half year old son. He spent nearly an hour talking to it, showing off his toys, and telling Louie all about his day. Do you want to play a motion sensing game? In just a minute, Louie. Not right now. It was honestly adorable. <laughs> you can do that. <laughs> He's a cowboy. Mm -hmm. He has little claps. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like him? Yeah. 
This glass art and glass art. This, this is character. Did you pick a favorite dino? Yeah, I want to hear more. This is a, another kind of dino. Godzilla was the monster I win. Oh, his friends win. I watched Godzilla on TV. The only one. Godzilla and friends must have been an epic watch. Did they have a big adventure together? Yes. But of course, Louis isn't perfect. Sometimes it doesn't always respond when you say, hey, Louis. And just a minute, Louis. And its answers can also be a bit hit or miss. Some are great, while others feel a little incomplete. I'll do my best to impress you with my answers. OK, sounds good. But anyway, while its robotic voice might make sense because, you know, it's a robot, after a while I do find it gets a little grating, so I would like the option to switch it to a more natural sounding voice in the future. You know, there's no doubt that Louie is cute and fun, but here's the question that I ask of all of my gadgets. Is it actually useful? Right now, I wouldn't say that Louie is a must-have for everyday use, but I am sold on its potential. With firmware updates, it could get smarter, more responsive, and even offer voice customization. Plus, having an AI assistant that isn't tied to my phone or my laptop screen is really refreshing. In fact, he's often prompting me to take breaks, which is really nice so that I'm not always looking at my screen and I get up and move my body around. And honestly, having a playful little robot rolling around in your desk adds a bit of fun to an otherwise boring, and usually messy, at least in my case, workspace. If you want to check out Louis for yourself, it retails for $189. US uh, you guys let me know what you think. If you would get something like this, if you are just sold on the potential of Louis, because I definitely am. I think, you know, he's really fun and he could actually get a lot more useful in the future. Uh, so I'd love to see future iterations of Louis or, you know, different versions that other companies might make. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.